What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video once again. And we'll be talking about uh, the character of David. Now the character of David is a name that we learned courtesy of this new interview that came out from Total Film Games Radar. That interview with Radio Silence that I did a quick video on last week uh, where they were hyping up the movie and giving some new details about it and talk about Samara and all these other things. How Ghostface is going to be involved in New York City and what that means for the movie. Yada yada yada. Total Film took it upon themselves to kind of just basically confirm that Josh Segarra's character is going to be named David. Now, it was again revealed in that interview, David is the person that was first discovered via the audition tape for Scream 6, but at the time, the character was coded and named Derek. Now, that's a clear nod to the romance between Derek and Sydney in Scream 2 and the upcoming romance most likely between David and Sam in uh scream six i've also seen people shout out to you craving something scary i think i saw a tweet from you who pointed out the fact that this could be a way to kind of pay respect to david arquette in a lot of ways that could be something they're doing too uh possibly now david most definitely is going to be sam's derrick this time around and unlike derrick i feel as though he'll be played up as a major red herring and that's not to say that david that's not to say that Derek himself wasn't played up in that same fashion or made suspicious in Scream 2 because he was. But what I mean is that Josh's facial expressions and how David carries himself and just how Josh's performance is done might make him more of a red flag than ever compared to Derek. Uh, especially going off the way people are making these assumptions going off of the fact that he's wearing certain color patterns that we've seen previous killers wear his demeanor on that teaser or on the subway makes him seem like he is up to no good and very suspicious meanwhile everyone else does not seem that way i didn't get the vibe that he was suspicious as much as i get the vibe that he's on alert and he's ready to go if somebody's willing to uh <laughs> step up to him as much as anything because there's probably something that went on in their apartment complex that would rationalize why he decides to even get involved with these these group of survivors so on top of that he does have on again the signature colors during that teaser that was released so from the audition tape we learned that david is a struggling actor who lives next door to sam and tara he's interested in dating sam but there might be some pushback there the initial pushback either leads to them hooking up or something goes down in their apartment complex because again i don't know why a neighbor just ends up in the core group unless ghostface forces them to join via some type of tragic event that happens in the complex now i want to address the idea of how he could be ghostface even though i don't see it happening it's most likely not going to happen the chances of that happening seem to be very slim um how could josh shigeru's character be ghostface in my mind i'm i'm imagining this this is just a random thought after the events of screen five you could have had an uproar on the stab subreddit where other crazy fans like amber and richie banded together to continue their legacy and, and and finish the work they started where they can get that sole desired movie that they think is superior to this terrible stab eight that came out these people whoever they are all who have whoever they are all over decide to track down the woodsboro survivors and one in particular decides to follow them to new york and attend blackmore university to start up another spree there now that one person in my head i'm just going to apply that to jack champion but the other crazies on the stab subreddit that are down for this idea of continuing richie and amber's legacy begin these these separate isolated attacks around the country you hear news reports about it gail weathers is even covering it they're just isolated ghost phase ghostface incidents that are still stemming from activity on the stab subreddit that spawned from other individuals who were just like these two amber and richie being inspired by them and now they're out here doing their own willy-nilly craziness all in the, all in an effort to get that movie that they desire to have so where does david's character factor into this well me i would apply david being someone who has lived in new york for a while and the news about the events of Scream 5 when they first broke could have first reached his life via a, via a viewing of Gail's morning show. And then an image of Sam appearing could have caused him to have like some thoughts about, oh, this this chick looks familiar. So he does some digging on Sam. And during this digging, he finds out that Sam, A, of course, is Billy's daughter because that's being reported in the news now. And then most importantly, here's the other twist. Sam was someone who during her juvenile years was involved in an incident that took the life of a relative of David. That would be the biggest thing. We know we've had this talk about stuff that happened when she was going through her her bad girl phase after learning about her connection to Billy and how she got her hands on every single pill and all that stuff she could get on to cope with it. And how there was this tension between her and Judy Hicks because of her delinquency 
or her juvenile ways at one point in the town of Woodsboro. So maybe one of these incidents could have killed somebody that was very close to the character that I give him applying to David. David taking advantage of an opportunity when Sam and Tara move into New York takes advantage of these random attacks that are going on around the country and the incidents going on at Blackmore and starts up his own separate thing all in an effort to get revenge on Sam for taking her relative away or for taking his relative away from him all those years ago when she was going through her bad girl phase. This would just be a simple thing where somebody died and it could have been avoided if Sam hadn't been acting a certain way, but because she was acting a certain way, this individual died. This could be David's brother, David's something else. Uh, I'll just say brother just to play the safe route. And then that's how that could go. Now, the only red, the only missing piece here is, of course, a how did David gain access to past criminal evidence of, from Ghostface Freeze? What do they intend to do with it other than, of course, frame Sam? That's most likely what it is for. The past Ghostface evidence would be to frame Sam. I don't see what else it would be for, <laughs> but it's just mostly how did he gain access to it? Will they even explain that? That's the only thing I haven't thought too far along the far down the rabbit hole on, but that's where I'm that's where I was leaning at when it comes to how I could see them hyping up David being a killer in Scream 6 and what route they could potentially take. Obviously, they could take a, a plethora of different routes to make David the killer in Scream 6. But in my mind, I could easily see them going down the rabbit hole of saying that David is the relative of someone who passed away during a juvenile incident that Sam was involved in during her bad girl years. And now that's all coming back to haunt her all these years later. And she doesn't even know it. So he, he decides to pretend to be interested in her. I mean, really, realistically, they can make it even a little bit more diabolical or diabolic. He is interested in her, but he also wants to kill her. That would even make it a little bit more deranged. He's actually interested in this girl, but simultaneously would rather kill her to get revenge for his brother or whoever it was that died because of Sam's juvenile ways when she was a teen that's just how i could see it playing out if they were to make him the killer you can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below uh do you think josh shiger is going to be the killer do you not think he's going to be the killer because it's way too obvious if he is the killer what do you prefer to play out with him or what other scenario could you see playing out with him because my scenario isn't the only scenario it doesn't mean it's also the best it's just the first idea that i thought of let me know all that down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video